You may know them as E, X, K, DHB, Acid, Speed, they're called the club drugs. But people are taking them at home now, you know, hanging out with your friends, maybe even at school. And you may think they're harmless fun, but when the high wears off, reality sets in. You're absolutely right. I remember an experience I had with a couple of friends when we tried it. And the high just wasn't as good as the turnaround. Like the next day, extreme low, and it just wasn't worth it. You may never think that you're going to do something like you're going to, you're like, oh, no, dude, I'm not going to do cocaine. But then when you're high on E, somebody offers you something and it's like, Okay, whatever, you know? Caroline, open this door immediately. You know, in traffic, I played a drug addict, so when the camera stopped rolling, I could just walk away from it and be fine. But we talked to some kids in rehab who didn't have that choice of just walking away from it, even after it stopped being fun. When I first started using drugs, I was about 14 years old, and uh, you know, I, I first tried weed and stuff like that, and then it, it progressed into ecstasy and acid. I started off smoking weed, and then eventually it was like, you know, I was still getting high from it, but it was just like, all right, you know, it was familiar. It was like, you know, I want something new. I was around 14, going on 15, around there. I had just moved into a new town, and I, was, I wanted to fit in. And that was the way I could fit in in that town was by doing drugs. What got me started was basically like the curiosity and, um, you know, the strive to fit in because I, I just uh, began high school. And then it just went like from once a month to the weekends, then from the weekends to every day a week. And it just got like way out of hand, just everything got carried away and I couldn't stop. And I, I would actually tell myself that I could stop whenever I wanted so it would still seem all right with me. I've taken pretty much all the club drugs there are. I don't think I've ever even seen a club. Uh, closest I came to a club is like, I don't know, some give me one of those little advertisement cards, you know? They still have clubs, but I mean, they're just everywhere else. In school, in, yeah, at, at your house, your dorm, or whatever. You know, take an ecstasy in Spanish class and stuff like that. I did E for the first time when I was 12 because my friend's older brother was doing it and I wanted to be cool and fit in so I did E. I started to do ecstasy, mex mescaline, cocaine, heroin. You know, my boyfriend was like, oh, you know, it's ecstasy and, you know, I want you doing me or whatever. So I was like, I was scared at the time because I really didn't know, you know what I'm saying? I, I thought that I would never try it. And I always told myself, nah, I'm never going to do ecstasy, never. You know, now I learned never to say never because it could happen. Ecstasy is a real serious drug. Please visit our website, inthemix.org for more information on this and many other programs about critical teen issues. You'll also find resources, transcripts, discussion guides, video clips, how to get copies of our programs, and lots more. And we'd love to hear from you. You can email us your ideas and advice so we can share it with everyone. That's mail at inthemix.org. You can also visit our tween website, It's My Life, at pbs.org slash it's my life. It includes games, advice from teens and experts, resources, and lots more.